Hello everyone, this is Big Dan with Southern Extreme Podcast. I was just coming to you today, we're going to talk some NFL Divisional Football Playoffs this weekend coming up. Uh, today's date is January 19th, um, it's Thursday, so you got a couple days before the first game. Um, and if you would, just like and subscribe, leave me some comments. Uh, we're going to go over this as sort of the uh, betters edition um on this show we're gonna go through the um all the spreads and everything over and unders and uh we'll make it quick but uh anyhow without further ado we'll get to it um the first game is gonna be between it's gonna be on saturday now it'll be between uh jacksonville is gonna be at kansas city uh that's gonna be a 4 30 uh p.m eastern be a 3 30 kickoff here central um now that's gonna be uh the over under right now is currently 53 it opened at 51 and a half um the current line is kansas city's favored by eight and a half now um Right now, 52% of the population is betting on Kansas City. 48% is on Jacksonville. Um, Kansas City, they are 14-3. and three. They're 7-1 at home. Against the spread, they are 1-6-1 and one at home this year. Um... <clears throat> Last ten, they are two seven and one against the spread. Um, Jacksonville on the road, their record right now is ten and eight. On the road, they are four and five against the spread. On the road, they are four four and one. And they are nine, eight, and one overall against the spread. Now the last ten games, they are seven, two, and one against the spread. So me personally, with this ball game being a uh, eight and a half point spread, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I would probably go with Jacksonville. Uh, can I believe Kansas City's gonna win the ball game? Um, but Jacksonville is going to cover the spread. Um, I, I'm looking for the score to be somewhere in the ballpark of about 35 to 30 is what I'm thinking the, the ball game will probably be. Um, maybe 38, you know, 38, 30, something like that. Uh, it's going to be right in there close, 38, 31. Um, but anyhow, that's the way I look at that ball game there. Um, like I say, just leave me some comments. Tell me what you think, uh, on that, on that particular game. Um, like, subscribe. Uh, we'll, we'll be coming back, you know, next week with the, uh, championship games and stuff like that. Um, but anyhow, the next ball game on Saturday is going to be, kickoff will be at 8.15 Eastern time. That'll be 7.15 Central. Um. The spread on that game is currently, right now, it's 48 is the over-under. Um, and it, uh, Philadelphia is favored by 7.5. And, and the Giants is at Philadelphia. Currently, the Giants are 10-7. And, um, and the Eagles are 14-3. Of course, the Eagles has got the number one seed, uh, just like the Chiefs had the number one seed. Um so the Eagles <clears throat> are at home. Now they are seven and two at home this year. Um, they are six and three against the spread, um, and they are three and seven in, in the last ten. Of course, they you know they had uh, they were without Jalen Hurts there for a few games, uh, so that probably affected that that deal a little bit there. Um, now New York. They are four and four on the road. Against the spread, they're seven and one 
and last 10, they are 8-2 and two against the spread. So America uh, is betting 67% on the Giants, and uh, for me, I'm going to go, um, you know, the Giants had a good showing against the Vikings last week. Um, they're looking good, but Philly really, really needed some rest. Um, I think they're going to be ready to go this game. Um, I, I'm going to, I'm going to say that the Eagles are going to cover, um, in this ball game here. Um, I think the Eagles probably will win, uh, if I had to say the like I say the spread seven and a half uh, for the Eagles minus seven and a half. I'm gonna say Philly's probably gonna win this game uh, 31 to 20, 31 21, somewhere in that ballpark. That's what I'm gonna sh put my money on. So anyhow, uh, that's where I stand there. Like I say, leave me some comments. Tell me what your thought process is on it. Um, I'm giving you all the numbers to it right now. Um, okay, and that's Saturday's games. Now, Sunday's games will start off at um, 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central Time kickoff. It's going to be Cincinnati at Buffalo. Um, the over-under is currently 48.5. Buffalo's favored by 5. Now, America has put 66% of the bets on the Bengals. The Buffalo's 34%. Buffalo had a, you know, in and out outing against the Dolphins last week, almost blowed it. Uh, Bengals had a, a, I would say, a dismal, terrible performance against the Ravens. The Ravens came out and played good defense last week. Um... <clears throat> Now the Buffalo Bills are 14 and 3 on the season. They're 7 and 1 at home. Against the spread, they are 3 and 5 at home. They're 8 and 8 and 1 overall. Last 10 games, they are 4 and 6 against the spread. Uh, now the Bengals are 13 and 4. They are six and three on the road. Twelve, four and one against the spread. Seven and two on the road against the spread. They're nine and one in the last ten. Seven, two and one against the spread. So, <clears throat> I believe, um, and thank goodness, Mister uh, Demar Hamlin is doing doing great. We always praying for him. Um, but I, I think this is this is kind of gearing toward Buffalo's year, I believe, is the way I'm feeling. Uh, Bengals has got some banged up linemen. I think that's going to hurt the Bengals. Uh, they got two, two or three offensive linemen out, or you know, week to week. But I think they're going to be beat up. But I, I don't, uh, I don't think they're going to be able to uh, give Burrow enough time to do the damage that he, he needs to do against Buffalo. Buffalo still got a good defense. So I, I'm going to put my money on Buffalo on this game um, with everything in, in, in tail there. Um, the over-under is 48 and a half, and they're favored by five. So, But I, I'm looking for Buffalo uh, Buffalo to win this ball game. Uh, they're, they're probably going to win this game you know, 35 to, to 28 or 35, 24, somewhere in that ballpark. That's, that's kind of what I'm looking at on, on this ball game here. Um, but anyway, like I say, leave me some comments. Tell me what you think about that ball game. Um, moving on to the last game of the weekend is going to be um, Dallas is at San Francisco. Um, it is currently the, the over-under. That game's going to kick off at 6.30, I'm sorry, Eastern time. Uh, it's 5.30, kickoff central. Now, the um, 
over under currently is 46 is the over under and it San Francisco is favored by three and a half um, now America has currently has got 64 percent bet on the 49ers and 36 percent have money placed on the Cowboys so <clears throat> um that said, the 49ers come in 14 and four record, nine and one at home. They are uh, 12 and six against the spread, eight and two against the spread at home. In the last 10 ball games, they're 10 and 0 and eight and two against the spread. Um, the Cowboys, um, they are 13 and five overall, uh, five and four on the road. 10 and 7, 10, 7 and 1 against the spread. They are 4, 4 and 1 on the road. Uh, last 10, they're 7 and 3. And they're 4, 5 and 1 against the spread on the last 10. Um, so coming into this ball game, San Fran had an awesome game last week. Um, they they beat the fire. Beat the fire out of them last week. Uh, San Fran did out of the Seahawks. I'm sorry, they played Seattle Seahawks last week, but uh, San Fran beat them bad. So they're going to be at home again. They've tough defense. Um, Purdy's playing real good quarterback for them. Of course, they got McCaffrey and uh, Debo Samuel and uh, those guys is is and of course George Kittle's. Is a uh, top tight end for them. Um, they they're playing great ball. Um, Dallas had a good good ball game against Tampa. Played good defense. Um, Tampa don't you know they they pl Tampa played at home, but they didn't have a they don't they're sort of punchless right now for some reason. I don't know. Uh, they don't have no no fire in them right now. I don't know what's going on. With Tampa, but anyhow, Dallas played a good ball game. Dallas has got a good defense. Mike Quinn, um, or Dan Quinn, excuse me, Dan Quinn. He um, he's a great defensive coordinator. So I think he's going to have a good game plan um, for San Francisco. This one kind of because there's so much money on San Fran and. Uh, only thirty six percent on Dallas. I I I look for this to be a tight ball game. Um, I mean I I I'm gonna put my money on Dallas. I think um, like I say, the line's three and a half. San Fran's favored by three and a half right now. Um, if it's me, um, I think the score's probably gonna be um. 31-30 or uh, 28-27, somewhere in that ballpark, something like that. It's going to be a tight, close ball game. It'll be a real good ball game. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, Dallas is going to go in there jacked and ready to play. San Fran's going to be ready to play too. I think it's going to be a, just a, a tough, tough ball game. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think San Fran's going to win this ball game. But like I say, they'll, they'll win. It'll be a close one. It'll be, you know, 27-24, 28-27, something like that. Uh, it'll be a tight one. But anyhow, uh, if you would, like and subscribe. Leave me your comments. Tell me what you think. Um, and I'll see y'all next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.